everyone, Elise Quevedo here. It's that time of year where we are in pre-mobile World Congress mode. The big doors at the Fear of Barcelona will be opening very soon, where mobile and technology brands across the world will once again be bringing us their latest devices and solutions. One of the brands I will be spending time with is Chinese tech giant Huawei. This year, they have a theming of 5G Advanced, and who better to join me for a quick preview today than Edwin Diender, Chief Innovation Officer of the Global Energy Business Unit at Huawei's Enterprise Business Group. Good day, Edwin. How's it going? Hola, amiga. It's been a while, but it's going very, very well, and thank you again for having me. Absolutely, Edwin. I'll be honest, I cannot wait to see you in person again during MWC because I can't believe it's already been a year. But before it that, has. let's give the audience a little preview before we get into depth with things. So just a couple of questions from you today. One, Edwin, what are you looking forward to this year at MWC? Well, if you compare this year's MWC to last year's MWC, surely from an audience point of view, I am I'm I'm very confident that even more people and even more organizations and institutions, but also on our side, uh, partners and customers and clients will be joining. Um, I think the mix between on-site and off-site and online and offline is uh, is not a split in the middle anymore as it was last year and maybe the years before that where it was more offline more online i think now more and more people will come to barcelona which is good for the event which is a, a great kudos to the organizers but certainly also to the city of barcelona being able to host uh, so many folks coming in so that's what i'm looking forward to i'm also looking forward to the promise of last year uh, We've been very much in the world of AI, if you like, where we will be talking about um, activate intelligence, accelerate intelligence, and so on and so forth as the meaning of AI. This year, it is about activating industrial intelligence. We've been speaking about the use cases and the application scenarios of AI in many different ways when it comes to tech, when it comes to technology, and when it comes to AI being a technical feature or or spec if you like or feature in different technical products but right now we can see where ai is doing and being so much more than that uh, for example it allows us it allows engineers who are not um, application developers or who are not software code developers uh, to be able to speak in their own language to systems and services that will pick up whatever they speak about and translate that into lines of code to create algorithms, uh, basic calculations, or input to what eventually can become an application. And this particular feature, this particular side of the AI, so to speak, that's why we are calling our participation at MWC this year, uh, activate industrial intelligence. Uh, because of that, we are showing not only how this works and in what scenarios it works, but we're showing that it works already for quite some time in specific industries, which is a good example of it being valuable, but it's more predominantly an example of it already being in use and in previous speeches and also presentations. I've been known to refer to movies from my past, like Back to the Future, where I refer to the latest one and the last one of that time, which is the future is now, because the future is now. We're not showing features just because they're cool features. We're showing features at work. We're showing the features adding value to different industry applications and industry scenarios. Hence, the activate industrial intelligence, practical and uh, in real life, I would say. That's what I'm looking forward to the most, to share that with our audience. Absolutely, Edwin, and it's spot on, because for me, for example, it's definitely about continuing discovery, but implementation, which I always seem to say, but it's what matters. And you've touched on it, that it's not about the systems that you're actually delivering and what is in place, but actually showing the new buyers or vendors or partners 
that it's already been implemented. And for me, that's definitely something that I look forward to seeing. I will be popping into your booth area to see what you have on the table. And question two, Edwin, what can we actually expect from your energy brand during MWC? Well, similar to last year and previous years, uh, Huawei has a lot of uh, large uh, scale events, um, speeches and summits and that sort of thing on big show, uh, big show podia, um, just like every year. Uh, my department usually is either a day later or two days later in the afternoon at a breakout session. Uh, this year we are right after the Huawei Enterprise Business Group main event, which is a major summit that is launching and bringing to the world everything that we mean when it comes to activate industrial intelligence. But the second one is us, is my department. And I'm very proud to be hosting this one because it shows not only how and where digital technology uh, is helping industries to accelerate uh, their digital journey and bring their digital journey uh, passing these different milestones that the journey is able to achieve and pass by on. Uh, but most importantly, we have to be aware that whatever we do as digital or as digitized as it is, it, we have to be prone to our environment. It has to be as low as possible when it comes to our carbon footprint. It has to be net zero or near net zero as much as it can possibly be. It has to lower the uh, amount of energy consumption to it. It has to reduce the greenhouse gas emissions and so on and so forth. And digital is very capable of measuring that and visualizing that. But digital is also very capable of driving that. So for the energy sector in general and for the electric power industry in specific, uh, the energy transition and carbon neutrality neutrality as two gears of the same engine that drives this digital journey of digital transformation is something that we are bringing to life, not from our perspective, but how pieces of technology that comes from our portfolio and family of products combined with other pieces of technology from other families of products and other portfolios combined, uh, not only help accelerate this, but help achieve these these global goals, so to speak, and that makes our business more intuitive, that makes our business more sustainable, that makes our business more green, and that makes our business more, well, not our business, it makes the world and the environment more sustainable, which is, I think, for, for, for the future of it, is a, is a very good driver as well. Thank you so much, Edwin. I so look forward to seeing uh, the summits this year, the industrial, then your uh, smaller, the breakout sessions. And there you have it. For more information about these tech giants, make sure that you head over to the summits where Edwin will be speaking, also to Hall of One, where you will find Edwin and the Huawei team who will be happy to answer questions about there are different areas from energy and cloud to data storage, 5G, green development, and definitely much, much more. And do stay tuned because I will be talking back to Edwin after the Congress for some in-depth highlights. Edwin, always a pleasure talking to you. Thank you for your time today. And hey guys, Let's remember, exploring innovation, meeting industry giants, unlocking potential and opportunities, and creating new partnerships is what this tech world is all about. So wishing you all a very productive and successful MWC. I'm Elise Quevedo. See you in Barcelona. Bye, Edwin.